Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, October 25th, 2021. Today we're going to recap the Game 6s of the LCSs and I'll give out my pick for the World Series. We'll go over the NFL Week 7 games from yesterday. We'll go ahead to tonight's game. College football, we'll go over the Week 8 slate. NBA, we'll go over the weekends and yesterday's games. to look ahead to tonight, save for the NHL. And Major League Soccer, Golf, NASCAR, News and Notes, and my best bet of the day. We'll start in Major League Baseball. Um, two game sixes to discuss from the weekend. Friday night, the Astros defeated the Red Sox by a score of... Five to nothing to win the series and six to advance to their third World Series in a five year span. Getting the win was Luis Garcia and getting charged with the loss was Nathan Avaldi. And then Saturday night, the Braves defeated the Dodgers four to two in game six to win the National League pennant to advance to the World Series. Getting the win was Tyler Matzik, the loss Walker Beeler, and Will Smith gets the save. So we have Braves Astros, some fun storylines in this game that um can't go overshadowed. Um so the Astros three and five years, the Braves after blowing a three one series lead a year ago are back in um they rebound now they're in the World Series despite the Loss of Ronald Acuna Jr. But there was a rumor that Acuna could have been uh, activated. And um, there's some talk that he might actually play. And he's not expected to return to the World Series. And apparently they activated him. Which is very, very crazy. And it's going to be um, interesting to see if um, they, um, they let him play. And his replacements, in terms of how they rebuilt the team at the trade deadline, have done an admirable job if not more so, like Eddie Rosario and Jorge Soler coming in there and stepping up for the Braves. And then you have their normal core with Freddie Freeman and Ozzie Albies. Austin Riley, I think, has inserted himself a part of that core now. On the pitching side, they have Charlie Morton and Max Free leading the, the way, and Ian Anderson there as well and Drew Smiley really has um, rejuvenated himself with the team and then their bullpen's pretty good too meanwhile the Astros um, their core's pretty much still intact with the exception of George Springer not being there anymore and in the rotation Verlander out for the year and it's Zach Greinke who's really just been a reliever and in the postseason, weirdly enough, and he hasn't really been effective. It's been Luis Garcia, Jose Yurdeke, um, and people like that. And their bullpen's pretty deep. Um, they have Ryan Presley and Ryan Stana, Kendall Graven, who they got at the trade deadline. 
and Phil Matone among the arms in that bullpen. And I mentioned how the Braves bullpen is pretty good. And um how um they really have come together as a unit. As well, I mentioned Tyler Matzik in their pen. Then you have AJ Minter. You have obviously Will Smith, their closer. So I think that both teams are pretty deep. But ultimately, I think that just feels like the Astros are going to win. They're better. Um, they have home field advantage. No, Lance McCullers Jr. is a big deal for Houston. And that is a big loss, obviously. But I think they're going to get it done. I just have a gut feeling. I'm going to say Astros in six. But I would not be surprised if Atlanta got it done. So Astros in six is the play. For the World Series. For the podcast. Alright now we'll move on to football. Starting with the NFL. As we will. Go over the results. From yesterday's games. And look ahead to tonight's game. Packers over to Washington. Professional football team. 24-10. Green Bay 6-1. Washington 2-5. Aaron Rodgers 27-35. 274 yards and 3 touchdowns. Taylor Heineke, 25 of 37, 268 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Titans over the Chiefs, 27 to 3. Titans, 50, or 5 and 2, KC, 3 and 4. Ryan Tannehill, 21 of 27, 270 yards, a touchdown, and the pick. Patrick Mahomes, 20 of 35, 206 yards, and a pick. Falcons over the Dolphins, 30 to 28. The Falcons, 3 3, Miami, 1 and 6. Matt Ryan, 25 at 43, 136 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Tua Tungavaloa, 32 at 40, 291 yards, four touchdowns and two picks. Patriots over the Jets, 54 13. Patriots, 3 and 4. Jets, 2 and, or I'm sorry, 1 and 5. Mac Jones had his best game yet so far, 24 at 36, 307 yards and two touchdowns. And Zach Wilson got injured in this game. He was only 6 for 10 for 51 yards and then. Mike White came in 20 of 32, 202 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. Giants over the Panthers, 25 to 3. Giants 2 and 5. Panthers 3 and 4. Daniel Jones, 23 of 33, 203 yards, and a touchdown. And on the ground, 8 for 28. And then he also had a reception for 16 yards. So the Giants pulled off the Philly special in this game that kind of got that offense going. In the second half. And in Carolina, Sam Darnold, 16 of 25, 111 yards and a pick. And then he was benched for PJ Walker, who came in 3 for 14, 33 yards. Bengals over the Ravens, 41 17. Wow. Cincy, 5 and 2. Baltimore, 5 and 2. Joe Burrow, 23 of 38, 416 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Lamar Jackson, 15 of 31, 257 yards and a touchdown. Raiders over the Eagles, 33-22. The Raiders, 5-2. Philly, 2-5. Derek Carr, 31-34. 330, 323 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Jalen Hurts, 18-34. 236 yards and two touchdowns. Rams over the Lions, 28-19. The Lions were frisky in that first half. Rams, 6-1. Detroit, 0-7. Matt Stafford, 28 of 41, 334 yards and three touchdowns. Jerry Goff, 22 of 36, 268 yards, a touchdown and two picks. Cardinals over the Texans, 31 to 5. Cardinals, 7 and 0. Houston, 1 and 6. Kyler Murray, 20 of 28, 261 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Davis Mills, 23 of 30, 235 yards. Buccaneers over the Bears, 38 to 3. Bucks, 6 and 1. Bears, 3 and 4. Tom Brady, 20 of 36, 211 yards and four touchdowns. Justin Fields, 22 of 32, 184 yards and three picks. Colts over to 49ers, 38 to 18 on Sunday Night Football. Colts 3 4, San Fran 2 and 4. Carson went 17 of 26, 150 yards, two touchdowns. Jimmy Garoppolo, 16 of 27, 181 yards, two 
a touchdown and two picks. And Trey Lance did not play in this game. All right, tonight at 8.15 ESPN, you have the Saints and the Seahawks. I project the, at the moment, um, the Saints by three and an eighth, total 45.85. just want to see something very quickly here. Um, okay, so that has to change because Chris Carson is out. That's going to change to three and five eighths. And the total is still 45.85. Meanwhile, FanDuel has this at Saints by four and a half, total of 41 and a half. Um, so the edge on the Seahawks is less than one, but I have a huge edge on the over. And I like the over 41 and a half, Sans Geno Smith, because. The Seahawks defense cannot get a big stop, and that defense stinks. So, I think that this could be a game where the Saints offense shows its capabilities like it did in the game against Green Bay and in the game against Washington and a little bit of that Giants game too. So, I'm going to go over 41.5 at minus 114. And then the slight edge from... A, st- a spread standpoint goes to Seattle. All right, now we'll move on to college football from the weekend as I will go over all of the results. We'll begin with Friday night. Middle Tennessee over UConn, 44-13. Middle 3-4, and four, UConn 1-8. and eight. UCF over Memphis, 24-7. UCF, 4-3. Sands, no Gabriel. Memphis, 4-4. Four four. Utah State over Colorado State, 26-24. Utah State, 5-4. Colorado State, 3-4. Washington over Arizona, 21-16. Washington, 3-4. Arizona, 0-7. Oh Saturday, number two, Cincinnati over Navy, 27-20. Cincy, 7-0. Oh, Navy, 1-6. Number three, Oklahoma over Kansas, 35-23. Oklahoma, 8-0. Oh, Kansas, 1-6. Number six, Michigan over Northwestern, 33-7. Michigan 7-0, Northwestern 3-4. Illinois upsets number seven, Penn State, 20-18 in nine overtimes. Illinois 5-8, and eight, or I'm sorry, 3-5, and five, Penn State 5-2. and two. Number 16, Wake Forest over Army, 70-56. Wake 7-0, Army 4-3. Arkansas over Arkansas Pine Bluff, 45-3. Arkansas 5-3, Pine, Pine Bluff 1-6. Florida State over UMass, 59-3. Florida State, 3-4. UMass, 1-6. Kansas State over Texas Tech, 25-24. Kansas State, 4-3. Texas Tech, 5-3. Eastern Michigan over Bowling Green, 55-24. Eastern, 5-3. Bowling Green, 2-6. Northern Illinois over Central Michigan, 39-38. Northern, 6-2. Central, 4-4. Syracuse over Virginia Tech, 41-36. Syracuse, 4-4. Virginia Tech, 3-4. Kent State over Ohio, 34-27. Kent, 4-4. Ohio, 1-7. Georgia State over Texas State, 28-16. Georgia State, 3-4. Texas State, 2-5. Wisconsin over number 25, Purdue, 30-13. Wisconsin, 4-3. Purdue, 4-3. Iowa State over number 8, Oklahoma State, 24-21. Iowa State, 5-2. Oklahoma State, 6-1. Number 12, Ole Miss over LSU, 31-17. Ole Miss, 6-1. LSU, 4-4. Matt Corral did play. Number 23, Pitt over Clemson, 27-17. Pitt, 6-1. Clemson, 4-3. Rice over UAB, 30-24. Rice, 3-4. UAB, 5-3. Minnesota over Maryland, 34-16. Minnesota, 5-2. Maryland, 4-3. Miami of Ohio over Ball State, 24-17. Miami of Ohio, 4-4. Ball State, 4-4. Toledo over Western Michigan, 34-15. Toledo, 4-4. Western Michigan, 5-3. Buffalo over Akron, 45-10. Buffalo 4-4, four four, Akron 2-6, Cal over Colorado 26-3, Cal 
Cal, 2 and 5. Colorado, 2 and 5. BYU over Washington State, 21 19. BYU, 6 and 2. Wazoo, 4 and 4. New Mexico over, over Wyoming, 4 to 10 to 3. New Mexico, 3 and 5. New Mexico, 4 and 3. Number 10, Oregon over UCLA, 34 31. Oregon, 6 and 1. UCLA, 5 and 3. Mississippi State over Vanderbilt, 45 6. Miss State, 4 and 3. Vandy, 2 and 6. Liberty over North Texas, 35 26. Liberty, 6 and 2. North Texas, 1 and 6. Louisville over BC, 28 14. Louisville, 4 and 3. BC, 4 and 3. Houston over East Carolina, 31 14. Or I'm sorry, 31 24 in overtime. Houston, 6 and 1. ECU, 3 and 4. Number 4, Alabama over Tennessee, 52 24. Bama, 7 1. Tennessee, 4 and 4. Number 22, San Diego State over Air Force, 20 to 14. San Diego State, 7 0. Air Force, 6 and 2. Number 24, UTSA over Louisiana Tech, 45 16. UTSA 8-0, Louisiana Tech 2-5. Western Kentucky over FIU 34-19. WKU 3-4, FIU 1-6. South Florida over Temple 34-14. South Florida 2-5, Temple 2-4. Yale Monroe over South Alabama 41-31. Yale Monroe 4-3, USA 4-3. Fresno over Nevada 34-32. Fresno 6-2, Nevada 5-2. Number five, Ohio State over Indiana, 54-7. Ohio State, 6-1. Indiana, 2-5. Number 13, Notre Dame over USA, 31-16. Notre Dame, 6-1. USA, 3-4. Number 17, Texas A&M over South Carolina, 44-14. A&M, 6-2. South Carolina, 4-4. Four four. Miami over number 18, NC State, 3-1-30. Miami, 3-4. NC State, 5-2. Virginia over Georgia Tech, 48-40. Virginia 6 and 2, Georgia Tech 3 and 4. West Virginia over TCU 29-17, WVU 3 and 4, TCU 3 and 4. Oregon State over Utah 42-34, Oregon State 5 and 2, or and Utah 3 and 4, or 4 and 3. And Hawaii over New Mexico State 48-34, Hawaii 4 and 4, New Mexico State 1 and 7. All right, now we'll move on to the NBA from the weekend. As we will go over the games from the weekend and look ahead to tonight. We'll begin with Friday night. Hornets over the Caps, 123-112. Knicks over the Magic, 121-96. Wizards over the Pacers, 135-134 in overtime. Nets over the Sixers, 114-109. Raptors over the Celtics, 115-83. Bulls over the Pelicans, 128-112. Rockets over the Thunder, 124-91. Nuggets over the Spurs, 102-96. Suns over the Lakers, 115-105. And the Jazz over the Kings, 110-101. Saturday, Cavs over the Hawks, 101-95. Pacers over the Heat, 102-91. Mavs over the Raptors, 103-95. Bulls over the Pistons, 97-82. Wolves over the Pelicans, 96-89. Bucks over the Spurs, 121-111. Trailblazers over the Suns, 134-105. And the Grizzlies over the Clippers, 120-114. And then yesterday's results. Hornets over the Nets, 111-95. Hornets 3-0. Nets 1-2. Magic over the Knicks, 110-104. Orlando 1-2. Knicks 2-1. Celtics over the Rockets, 107-97. Celtics 1-2. Houston 1-2. 76ers over the Thunder, 115-103. Sixers um, 2-1. Thunder 0-3. Warriors over the Kings, 119-107. Warriors 3-0. Kings 1-2. And the Lakers over the Grizzlies, 121-118. Lakers 1-2, and, and the Memphis Grizzlies are 2-1. and one. Now we look ahead to tonight's busy slate. At 7 o'clock, we have the Celtics and the Hornets. I project the Hornets by 5.5, total 226-7. Meanwhile, it's Celtics by 1, and we don't have a total yet, but that's okay. Because I love Charlotte in this spot. Getting the 1 at plus one, or minus 112. And they're minus 104 on the money line. Bucks Pacers. I project the Bucks by 7 and a half. Total 2, 3, 3, 6. Meanwhile, it is. Bucks by 3. Total 2, 29 and a half. So the total went down on me by one point since I wrote these numbers in like 15 minutes ago. Um, 
This is a tough one. So four point edge on the over about and then four and a half on the box. I'm gonna lay to three with Milwaukee. Or now it's down to two and a half. What in the world? That's be an injury we don't know about or something. Let's see here. Is Giannis out or something? None. What about the Pacers injury report, more importantly? Do they have guys coming back? Let's see here. Um... We'll see here who Yeah, so both guys, Warren and Levert are still out. Why? I don't got that one. That's a layup, two and a half for the box. And those two guys are both still out for Indiana. Seven thirty piston talks. I project the Hawks by a whopping twenty one and a half total one eighty nine twenty five. Meanwhile it is The Hawks by 10 and a half, total 213 and a half. Under. Um, next up is the Wizards and the Nets on NBA TV. I project the Nets by 6, total 222 and a half. Meanwhile, it is Brooklyn by 8 and a half. I'm taking the Wizards getting the points. Nets on the second of a back to back, coming off a loss. The Magic and the Heat. I project the Heat by 19, total to 1475. Meanwhile, it is 14. I'm laying the 14 with the Heat. This is a letdown for the Magic after their upset win over the Knicks. Bulls, Raptors. I project the Bulls by 5.5, total 196.35. Meanwhile, it is Bulls 2.5, total to 12.5. I'm taking the under. 8 o'clock, the Pelicans and the Timberwolves. I project the Timberwolves by 9.5, total to 10.25. Meanwhile, it's 5.5 and 2.26.5. I'm going to take another under. 9 o'clock, the Cavaliers and the Nuggets. I project the Nuggets by 14.5, total to 15.5. Now 10.5, no total yet. I'm laying the 10.5 with Denver. And then the last one, 10.30, NBA TV, the Trailblazers and the Clippers. I project the Clippers by a half, total to 36 and a half. Meanwhile, it is three and 231 and a half. I'm taking the over in that contest. Alrighty, now we'll move on to the NHL from the weekend where we will recap the weekend's games and we will look ahead to tonight. Bruins over uh, Friday. Bruins over the Sabers four to one. Sharks over the Maple Leafs five to three. Stars over the Kings three to two in overtime on a game winner by Dennis Goranov. and the Oilers over the Golden Knights five to three. Saturday Rangers over the Sanders three to two. Flames over the Capitals four to three in overtime on a game winner by Elias Lindholm. Wild over the Ducks, 4-3 in overtime on a game winner by Ryan Hartman. Canadians over the Red Wings, 6-1. Avs over the Lightning, 4-3 in a shootout. Devils over the Sabres, 2-1 in overtime on a game winner by Pavel Zaka. Panthers over the Flyers, 4-2. Penguins over the Maple Leafs, 7-1. Hurricanes over the Blue Jackets, 5-1. Jets over the Preds, 6-4. Blues over the Kings, 7-3. Islanders over the Coyotes, 3-0. And the Canucks over the Kraken, 4-2. Then yesterday, the Bruins over the Sharks, 4-3. The, the Preds over the Wild, 5-2. Red Wings over the Blackhawks, 6-3. And the Islanders over the Golden Knights, 2-0. All right, now we look ahead to today. 7 o'clock, we got the Lightning and the Sabres from Buffalo. It is... Lightning minus 230, Buffalo plus 190, over under 6, overs minus 114, unders minus 106, Lightning minus 1F is plus 115, Sabres plus 1F is minus 138.
let's go here with the under. I'm going to say Andre Vasilevsky shuts down the Sabres. And I like the number. At minus 106. If it goes up to six and a half, it's an absolute no-brainer on the under. Next up, Capital Senators. The Caps are minus 156. Ottawa's plus 132. Over under six. Overs minus 122. Unders plus 100. Even money. Caps minus one half is plus 152. Sens plus one half is minus 184. This game, I'm going to go with the Capitals and regulation at minus 105. The Coyotes and the Panthers. Florida minus 450. Arizona plus 350. Over under 6.5. Over is even money. Under is minus 122. Coyotes plus 2.5 is minus 128. Florida minus 2.5 is plus 106. It's very rare you see a puck line at 2.5. That's nuts. This game I'm going to go over 6.5 and even money. I think Arizona's goaltending is abysmal. So there you go. Next up, Flames Rangers from the Garden. The Rangers minus 144, uh, Flames plus 122 over under 5.5, minus 110 each way. Flames plus 1.5 is minus 230, Rangers minus 1.5 is plus 188. I'm going under. Um, The Rangers have been an under team pretty much the whole year, the exception of the opener, in which there were six goals in that game. In the total, I believe, went over. But I just think this is a low-scoring game. Um, you have two defensive coaches in Jared Gallant and um, Jared Sutter. So I really like the under in this game a lot. Next up, the Maple Leafs and the Hurricanes. Hurricanes minus 118, Toronto plus 100 over under 6.5. Over is even money, under is minus 122. Toronto plus 1.5 is minus 255. Carolina minus one half is plus two with five. So that's the Freddie Anderson bowl. And I'm going to lay it with Carolina minus 118 against the Maple Leafs. The Stars and the Blue Jackets. Dallas minus 134. Columbus plus 114. Over under five and a half. Overs plus 110. Unders minus 134. Dallas minus one half is plus two with five. Columbus plus one half is minus 255. I'm going to go with Columbus plus 114 with the upset special of the night. I like how Columbus is playing. They have. Six points, they're three and two. Pretty much the same record as Dallas, so why not? And last but not least, at eight o'clock, you have the Kings and the Blues. The Blues are minus one eighty four. Kings are plus one fifty four. Over under five and a half. Over is minus one eighteen. Under is minus one hundred four. Kings plus one half is minus one fifty six. Blues minus one half is plus one thirty. Um, the Blues are undefeated, and I think they'll remain undefeated. I'm going to just do Blues in regulation at minus 120 at home against the Los Angeles Kings. All right, now we'll move on to Major League Soccer from the weekend as we will go over those results. We will begin with Saturday. Kansas City over Seattle, 2-1. Red Bulls over Columbus, 2-1. NYCFC over D.C. United, 6-0. Philadelphia over Nashville, 1-0. Toronto and Club Football Montreal, 1-1 draw. Chicago over Salt Lake, 1-0. Miami over Cincinnati, 5-1. Minnesota and LAFC, 1-1 draw. Colorado over Portland, 2-0. LA Galaxy and Dallas, 2-2 draw. San Jose and Vancouver, 1-1 draw. And then Sunday, Austin over Houston 2-1 and Orlando and New England 2-2 draw. All right, so there is a game on Tuesday, so we'll preview and pick that on the Tuesday podcast. Okay, now we will um, look over the results from the Zozo Championship in golf. So, without... Further ado, here we go. All right, so your winner of the Zozo Championship, Hideki Matsuyama at 15 under. Tied for second with 10 under Cam Triangle and Brendan Steele at 10 under. 
Tied for fourth with six under. Sebastian Munoz, Matt Wallace, Mackenzie Hughes. Tied for seventh with five under. Luke List, Tommy Fleetwood, Keegan Bradley, Kyle Mariqua, Lucas Griffin, Takumi Kanaya, Brandon Grace, and Sam Ryder. Tied for 15th with four under. James Hahn and Chan Kim. 17th with three under. Taylor Hogue. Tied for 18th with two under. Saibu Kim, Matt Jones, Alex Loren, Shugo Amaria, Henrik Norlander, Kyung Hoon Lee, and Hiroshi Iwata. Tied for 25th with one under Adam Long, Wyndham Clark, and Maverick McNeely. Tied for 28th at even. Troy Merritt, Joaquin Neiman, Kaida Nakajima, um, Charlie Hoffman, Xander Shoffley, Adam Shank, and Nayato Nakanishi. Notables. In the tie for 35th with one over was Kyle Stanley. In the tie with um, two over for 39th, Henry Higgs, Adam Putnam. Tied for 44th with three over. Ricky Fowler, Ryan Palmer. Um, Pat Perez. Tied for 48th with four over Evan Van Royen, Chris Kirk, Matt Neesmith. Tied for 54th with six over Walter Zalatoris and Jonathan Vegas. Tied for 62nd with eight over Brendan Todd, Tyson McCumber. Tied for 66th with nine over Seb Straka, Doug Gim. Tied for 71st with 10 over Roger Sloan and Wesley Bryan. 73rd with 11 over Emiliano Grio. Tied for 75th with 14 over Doc Redman. And Carlos Ortiz withdrew. All right, so the next golf tournament is the Bermuda Championship, which is from Thursday to Sunday, and we will... Talk about it and preview and pick it on the podcast on Wednesday. All right, now we will go over the NASCAR results from the weekend, which were very interesting to say the least. We will start with the Xfinity results from Saturday. And your winner was Ty Gibbs. Second, Austin Sindrick. Third, AJ Allmendinger. Fourth, Justin Haley. Fifth, Ryan Sieg. Sixth, Brett Moffat. Seventh, Michael Lynette. Eighth, Sam Meyer. Ninth, Justin Alger. Tenth, Matt Snyder. The rest, Brandon Jones, Jeb Burton, Riley Herbs, Brandon Brown, Daniel Henrik, Bailey Curry, Jeremy Clements, Garrett Smithy, Landon Castle, Jordan Anderson, Kyle Weatherman, Ryan Vargas, Tommy Joe Martins, Patrick Amberling, Matt Mills, Josh Williams, Dylan Lupton, Jeffrey Arnold, Joe Grafton, Jesse Little, Spencer Boyd, Lawrence Hazeman, Alex Lab, Harrison Burton, Noah Graxon, David Starr, Mason Massey, Jade Beaver, Gary Galding, and Joey Gase. And now the Cup Series results from Kansas. The winner, Kyle Larson. Second, my pick of Chase Elliott. Third, Kevin Harvick. Fourth, Kirk Bush, 5th, Denny Hamlin, 6th, William Byron, 7th, Martin Truex Jr., 8th, Chris Bell, 9th, Joey Logano, 10th, Austin Dillon, the rest. Alec Bowman, Chris Boucher, Ross Chasen, Bubba Wallace, Daniel Suarez, Michael McDowell, Brad Kozlowski, Cole Custer, Chase Briscoe, um, Parker Kligerman, Ryan Priest, Tyler Riddick, Matthew Mendetto, Ricky Sanders Jr., Corey LaJoy, Eric Almarola, Ryan Newman, Kyle Bush, Eric Jones, BJ McLeod, Cody Ware, Joey Gase, Josh Bleakey, David Starr, Quinn Health, Ryan Ellis, Ryan Blaney, Anthony Alfredo, Justin Haley, and Chad Fincham. All righty. Now we will go over the latest news and notes from the weekend. Um, 
So, some weather related news. Um, the Major League Baseball work stoppage appears likely. So, if no labor agreement is reached by December 2nd, it could freeze free agent market and threaten start of spring training. So that is something to monitor on the show. You, we have not had a lockout in any sport. Um, I mean, I don't. I, let's not count COVID. So last time we had a real lockout was probably the twenty thirteen hockey season. Twelve thirteen, we had to shorten the hockey season because of it. Some local news. Um. Flash Flood Watch issued heavy rain and strong winds threatening the NYC area through Tuesday. So, I don't think that's going to affect any sporting games. I mean, if this was Saturday and Rutgers was home, maybe that could have been something. But um, if this was yesterday, it could have affected the Giants. Um, or like soccer with the Red Bulls on Saturday. NYCFC. But... um. Hopefully, this doesn't affect any sport games and travel and such. Carmelo Anthony passes Moses Malone and moves into ninth place on the NBA's all-time scoring list. So that is some good news or exciting news there. Um, James Harden's message to referees. The Nets star believes he is the poster boy of NBA's new foul rules and asks officials to call when they see. Hmm. There's a fan ejected at the Staples Center for touching Rajon Rondo. As there was a courtside fan from the blowout loss against the Suns that slapped Rajon Rondo's hand away from his face. And there was a brawl between Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis. And um, there was a fight, and it was quickly handled, and Dwight Howard said, that's my brother. It was raining last night in the Sunday night game between the Colts and the 49ers. And a fan came in swim gear. Tom Brady had a nice moment with a fan as a a fan held up a sign. Tom Brady helped me beat brain cancer. Which, that if you didn't see this, then go check it out on YouTube or something. LeBron James ripped campaign as um during that big blowout loss to the Suns as LeBron caught Got caught um, calling him out. We talked about Lance McClure Jr. not pitching in the World Series already. The Cardinals have a new manager, and that is their own Ollie Marmol, who was their bench coach the last couple of years. So we'll see how that works out. And he is younger than Adam Wainwright and Yadier Molina, so that's kind of ironic. Patrick Holmes took a hit to the head in the fourth quarter against the Titans, and... Andy Reid says he was fine as they passed concussion protocol. Russell Wilson could return week 10, barring any hiccups from his finger injuries. So that's good news. Um, Cliff Kingsbury came back and coached against the Texans, so that was good to see. Jalen Brown missed last night's game with patellar tendonitis in his left knee against the Rockets. Cade Cunningham continues to miss games for the Pistons and will remain out these next couple games for the Pistons. Um, Eli Manning got his jersey retired at Ole Miss after getting his jersey retired by the Giants. Oklahoma State extends Mike Gundy to a perpetual five-year contract. So that's good for OK State. And the new AP poll rankings for this week. Um, Georgia is still number one. Number two is Cincinnati. Three, Alabama. So quickly back in the top three. 
Four is Oklahoma. Five, Ohio State. Six, Michigan. Seven, Oregon. Eight, Michigan State. Nine, Iowa. Ten, Ole Miss. You got to think game day is going to be at uh, East Lansing next weekend. They deserve it. Because Michigan State's unbelievable. The rest, Notre Dame, 11. Kentucky, 12. 13, Wake Forest. 14, Texas A&M. 15, Oklahoma State. 16, Baylor. 17, Pitt. 18, Auburn. 19, SMU. 20, Penn State. 21, San Diego State. 22, Iowa State. 23, UTSA. 24, Coastal Carolina. And 25, B Y U. A couple NFL veterans on the trade block: um, Melvin Ingram, L J Collier, and Kyle Fuller. And then you also heard um, Jabril Peppers as well. Vic Fangio not worried about his job despite the four game losing streak. He's worried about the team. He says. Um, the Suns released a statement on Friday regarding, um, um, the proposed story accusing owner Robert Sarber of racism and sexism. We haven't really heard much about it, but it's just an ugly story. 76ers and Ben Simmons cleared the air as, um, Ben and the entire 76ers team accepted everyone and needs to take responsibility for recent drama. Sidney Crosby back at practice for the Pittsburgh Penguins, and he says his injury was from seven years ago, which is crazy. As Crosby says, um, Ryan Reeves got a hold of me pretty good. So that is absolutely nuts that that injury's been lingering for Crosby. For seven years. All right. Last but not least, my best bet of the day. Brought to you by FanDuel. Um, there are some games that I like for tonight in terms of a best bet. But I am going to take... I don't get why this uh, Bucks in the Anna line keeps going down. Um, let's go for my best bet. I'm gonna go with the Hornets against Boston. Um, Jalen Brown out hundred percent. I Charlotte's undefeated. I'm gonna lay two units on the Hornets minus one hundred eight against the. Celtics. All right, so there you have it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything, including Dancing with the Stars, and also news and notes and my best bet. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.